Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech 5 Production. Few weeks back, we did a review on the Fantax Eclipse G360A casing. Keen eye viewers may have seen the AIO in the build and are quite curious on what it was. And more importantly, is it worth getting? It's actually this one. Let's talk about it. Today we'll be talking about the Fantax Glacier 1 240 T30 AIO. We'll be going through some of its looks and design, specification, and of course, its performance. Let's start off by talking about how the AIO itself looks. And I personally think that it looks really handsome. Similar to other Fantax cooler, it uses an infinity mirror cap that is put on top of the AIO pump itself. There's also a DRGB, connects to an ARGB, that has a 3D effect on it thanks to the infinity mirror. And the cap itself is magnetically attached to the pump and it's technically not really part of the AIO. So perhaps if you're not a fan of ARGB and would just like to see the pump itself, you can just easily remove the cap. As for the tube, while other brands may not have much things going for it, Fantax have included three tube clips to allow for a neater overall look, which I think other AIO brands can take some inspiration from. So the pricing for such a handsome cooler with its magnetic removable cap and this tube clipping, how much will it cost? 600? 500 ringgit? Nope, it's only priced at 444 ringgit and there doesn't seem to be a white version for the Fantax Glacier 1 240 at least at the time of recording. And let's go through the pump first, where you'll be using Acertex 7th generation of pump with pump speed of up to 2800 RPM, plus minus 10%. And it supports the latest platform from both Intel with LGA 1700 and AMD with AM5. The tube of the 240T30 is measured at 400 millimeter, so it should reach the top or front of most casing in the market quite easily. For the cables of the pump, you actually only get a 3-pin PWM header with the other cable of the ARGB being at the removable cap, so it's technically separated. The radiator itself seems to be slightly thicker than other AIO that I've used before, so perhaps this will help in the temps department, which we'll see in our benchmark and test later. Although this may be an issue if your motherboard has big heat sink, so do be aware of that if you're planning to get this AIO since it is slightly thicker than most. And for the fans, the included fans are the Fantax T30 120 fans. These are non-ARGB 7 blader fans whose unique points are the thickness of the fan, which are 30mm in thickness, making it 5mm thicker than normal case fans. This may cause some build to be incompatible with such things as taller ramps, but the trade-off for the RAMs is that it should be able to direct more airflow through the radiator. The fan itself uses a 4-pin PWM header and it also has a separate header for the receiving end to daisy chain the fans together to save on PWM headers. So with that, let's have a test on the performance of the T30 and see how the T30 performs compared to a stock cooler from a Ryzen 7 7700. And that was the result. All in all, it's a decent improvement with around 5 to 7 degree improvement overall during idle and under load. Of course, the improvement doesn't just come in the cooling performance itself, but also in the aesthetic and acoustic department. Let us play you a sound comparison for the Fantec Glacier 1 T30 against the Rave Prism. So if you're in the market for a nice looking, fairly priced and decently performing 240 AIO, why not give the Fantax Glacier 1 240 T30 AIO a consideration? And since it's using an Acertec Gen 7 pump, we can expect the lifespan of the pump to be long too. And just to give you even more ease of mind on it, 
this AIO will be covered with a six year warranty too. The best thing we loved about this AIO, the mesmerizing ARGB effect from the pump cap. The thing we don't like as much, the cable for the fan's daisy chain is a bit too long. The most unique aspect of this AIO, the thicker radiator and the thicker T30-120 fans. And that's all for our review on the Fantex Glacier 1 240 T30 AIO. We hope you guys find this video to be helpful. If you did, be sure to share it to all your friends and family. And give this video a like if you liked it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.